Hi everyone, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. I'm Andre from psdbox.com and today I want to show you how to create a fake lake in Photoshop. Now this is not an original idea of mine. I found a text tutorial on the internet and I really really liked that effect. And so I decided I would make a video. Uh, in the video description you have the link to that uh, text tutorial. And this effect works best on landscape images like this one, but you can try on other kinds of images if you want to. And so this is the image that I will use for this effect and I will start by unlocking the background layer and I will name this landscape and I will duplicate with Control J and I will call this one reflection so I have the reflection layer selected and I will select the bottom part of this and the area that I selected here is um, the area where the actual lake will be so I will now press delete and you can see if I disable the landscape layer now this area here will be my my reflection so I will press Control T to load the free transform and I will right click and choose flip vertical and I will I'm press shift and I'll drag this down until I have the reflection exactly where I want it which is here now we have a flooded uh, field here but we need to create the, the waves and that's the cool part we have to use filters for that but before we do the waves we need a distortion map to create that so I will create a new layer and name it waves and I will fill this layer with white so go to edit fill and choose white and click OK now this layer will be our distortion map which we will use as a texture on a, one of the filters that we have and we'll create those waves and I'll show you how once you have the layer filled with white go to filter noise add noise and add about 50 percent noise make sure it's on monochromatic and you can choose uniform or Gaussian I will choose uniform and click OK now we have to apply another filter because uh, this doesn't look as waves at all. So go to filter again, go to sketch and pass relief. And here you uh, will give a more three dimensional look to that noise. Make sure you increase the smoothness a bit and don't add too many detail because otherwise uh, we'll have like too many waves or and it doesn't look too, too nice so decrease the detail to about uh, 6 or 7 and click OK and now after applying the best relief filter go again to filter mm, blur and motion blur and set the angle to 0 and set the distance to about let's see 80 pixels 75 pixels depends I think this also depends on the size of your canvas and then click OK try to get some something like this okay once you apply the the motion blur filter press Control T to load the free transform or go to edit free transform and right click and choose perspective and I'm doing this because I want to have some bigger waves here and smaller ones on top. So I will press the Alt key and click this control point here on the bottom right and I'll click and drag. And you see the other end is modified by the same amount because I have the Alt key you know, pressed. And once you have the perspective changed and you have something like this, just press Enter to accept the change. And now we have, this will be our distort map, which we will use to create those waves. 
So with this layer visible on top of all the other ones, go to File, Save As, and save it somewhere on, on your desktop. Make sure you save it as a PSD file, otherwise it will not work. And I will give it a name like Distort, something like that, and choose Save. And click OK. Now, we have the distortion map saved. You can disable the visibility of this layer for now. Select the reflection layer and go again to filter, distort and choose glass. And you can see that uh, this filter applies a texture to this. It uh, displaces the, the image, but I don't like the texture. That's why I created that distortion map. So click this icon here and click load texture and go to your desktop or wherever you saved that distortion map and select it and notice that it only lets you select PSD files so that's why I saved that in a PSD format choose that file click open and you'll, you'll start to see that we all already have some waves here and now you just have to play with the settings I'll increase the distortion if you want reduce smoothness if you want to have uh, more waves uh, so to say if you want to make them bigger increase the scaling and I'll leave the smoothness to about 7 and the distortion to 18 and click OK and you see that I now have that uh, water effect I do see some problems here. You see that highlight there, which I don't really like. If you apply, if you turn this into a smart object before you apply the filter, it's better because that way you can modify the options of the filter whenever you want. But I didn't do that, so I will use a layer mask to hide part of that effect, which I don't like. Use a softer brush and just remove some of that effect here on the edges this one as well okay something like that so if you want to add uh, even more realism to this you can add some shadows on the bottom part just add a gradient overlay and choose black to transparent click OK and set the blend mode to soft light and click OK and now you have these shadows here on the corners so see it, it looks a bit better so that's how you create fake lake in Photoshop I hope you liked the tutorial I'll see you next time